Oh my god, I'm so excited to share this with you that Excel's new checkbox feature is now rolled out to all users of Excel 365. Yes, now all Excel 365 users can use this new feature for creating checklists and interactive tasks directly in their spreadsheets. Checkbox will also be available on Excel for the web, shortly, so everyone will be able to use it. In this video, we'll look at this feature with three different examples. But before that, first let's see how to add it and explore some of its basic features. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest Excel tips. Let's see how to insert the checkboxes first. Here, I have a list of tasks, and I want to keep track of their status, whether they've been done or not. I'll select this cell, navigate to the Insert tab, and click on Checkbox. You can either copy this in cells below individually or select all the cells at once and click Checkbox to add it to all selected cells. Please note that this checkbox are in cells. So, if you move the cell, delete the row or column containing the checkbox, it will adjust accordingly. You can even format these checkboxes like by adjusting their size, color, alignment as per your choice. Now, a checkbox is represented by two values, true and false. An unchecked checkbox represents the value false, and it turns to true once you check the checkbox. You can check it with a mouse click or by pressing the spacebar on your keyboard. You can even check all the checkboxes together. To remove the checkboxes, just press the delete button. Also you can remove it by clicking on clear all. Now that we've covered all the basics of the checkbox feature, let's move on to our first example. Calculate percentage of completed task. This is our habit tracker. We've listed some daily habits along with the days of the week. First, we need to insert checkboxes. As we discussed earlier, we can insert them from the Insert tab. You can either drag the checkboxes into place or select all the cells and insert them with just one click. Now, to calculate the percentage of completed task, we first need to count the number of completed task. To do this, type is equals to count if open parentheses, select the data range, comma, and write true. True indicates that the checkbox is checked. Close the parentheses and enter. Drag this formula in cells below. Now, let's check some checkboxes. As we can see, the number of checked boxes is being counted here. Now, to calculate the percentage of completed or checked boxes, we need to calculate the total number of check boxes. Write the divide symbol, counting, open parentheses, select the data range and close parentheses. Press enter. Now, convert it into percentage. And drag this formula in cells below. This is how you can create tracker. Let's move on to our next example. Let's apply some conditional formatting to this task sheet. We have a list of tasks with different priority levels, high, medium, or low, and we want to highlight tasks based on the selected priority level using checkboxes. So, now that we've already inserted checkboxes, let's apply conditional formatting to highlight tasks with high priority. To do this, select the task list. Click on conditional formatting, then select new rule. Choose, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now write, is equals to, select the first checkbox in high priority column and remove dollar sign from row number, so that it refer each row in the list. Now, go to format, and click on fill, and choose a color. Click OK, again OK. Now repeat this process for the medium priority and low priority columns. Now, when we click on a checkbox, it will be highlighted accordingly. We also want to highlight the checkbox itself when clicked. To do that, select the column, click on Conditional Formatting, New Rule, Last Rule and Write is equals to and select first checkbox in high priority. Remove dollar sign and click on Format, select Color from Font Color and click on OK. Again, repeat this process for the medium priority and low priority columns. Now, let's check it out. When we click on a checkbox, it highlights the task name and changes the checkbox color accordingly. 
Adding one more step into this, currently we can check all checkboxes. But, we'll restrict checking only one checkbox per row. This ensures that once a priority is selected, another cannot be chosen. To apply data validation, select all these cells, go to data, then data validation, and choose custom. And write is equals to 2 times dash count if select range true less than equals to 1. It counts the number of true values in the range of the first row using absolute references, ensuring that only one checkbox per row can be checked. See, we can only tick one checkbox. Cool, right? Let's move on to our next example. Let's create a progress chart using checkboxes. Here, we've created a to-do list for a project and inserted checkboxes. Now, let's see how to create a donut chart tracker to visually represent the progress of task in the project. First, let's calculate the percentage of completed tasks and the percentage remaining. To calculate the percentage of completed task, divide the number of tick checkboxes by the total number of checkboxes. To find the percentage remaining, subtract the percentage of completed task from 100%. Next, select the cell containing this data, go to the Insert tab, click on Pie Chart, and choose a Donut Chart. Then, select the chart and adjust the donut hole size slightly smaller to refine the appearance. Now, we will change the colors. After that, insert a text box and select the completed percentage. Format it to enhance its appearance. And this is how our progress tracker is ready to track task completion visually. Here, we've come to the end of the video. Remember, there are many more things you can do with checkboxes in Excel. Tell me how you are planning to use this checkbox feature. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next video.